Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. Now, we're going to talk about the new screen we have designed, which is called the uh, Fusion Silver Invisible Tech 4K. Now, one of the things I want to point out uh, with a lot of people don't understand when you do demonstrations, I have certain people that basically do my demonstrations and they repost them or they try to do the exact same thing. But I try to explain to them that it's more than that that goes into this. But they figure they can figure out easy ways to do the exact same thing I do. All right, so when you're doing a screen that is invisible, one of the things you have to worry about is something called projection glare. Now, projection glare is basically um, a light that will come right here in the center of your screen. It'll be a blinding light, and that comes from your projector hitting it and reflecting off and giving a glare. Much like if you take a cell phone and you hit a mirror with it, you'll get a reflection glare that'll come off on the screen uh, from the cell phone light. Now, if you notice, um, <coughs> if you watch it in the center of the screen, that's when you'll see this blinding light. Now, what some people will do is they'll do a demonstration with a lot of images running across to actually camouflage the projection glare in the middle. But if you're going to do our demonstrations, if you're going to basically um, copy what we do, do the exact same demonstration. Don't say, hey, I've done this and point blank is done. No, do it in a fully lit environment because we do all our demonstrations in fully lit environments and do it where on, on the video contents that we use. We use white videos right here. To, we're actually doing this white video right here just on snow drift with a dog playing with a tennis ball to show you that, you know, if you hit a screen at 2000 lumens, and the reason why some people go with a 50 lumen projector or lower because they figure that you're not going to see a bright enough burning light in the middle of the screen. But 50 lumens, even 48 lumens will still cause projection glare right in the center. You'll still see the reflection coming off of it. Because it doesn't make a difference what projector you're using. The surface is still going to cause some form of reflection. So we're going to come over here real quick. We're going to do this demonstration. I'm going to be doing this on the 2000 lumen projector. Next, I'm going to be doing it on the uh, 3000 lumen projector I have right here to show you the screen's ability to cancel out glare. All right, so there's my demonstration on the dog over there. Get behind my projector. We're going to make sure I'm far enough back. And as you can see, even with a surface that should be reflecting a ton of light back at us. And on a white snow scene with a dog, you can see that there is no hot spot and no glare on the screen. I'm gonna tell people, if you're gonna do our demonstrations, if you're gonna do our, um, try to copy our work, and try to claim that you can do it for better or you can do it easier, do the exact same demonstrations. I love it when people try to do our demonstrations and I'll do it in dark environments. Say, hey look, same thing. See the light on in the environment? Please do the same thing. Don't half step it. Now look at that. And we are, let me see, let me go over here for a minute. We are about nine feet from our screen right there. All right, so I'm gonna come over here real quick and I'm gonna throw on my spotlights. So we can get some more light on the screen. So we have the light hitting the screen itself. All right. Get that camera to focus, we have a lot of light. This shows you exactly how much light is bouncing back to us. So we got the walls are white. We have two spotlights over top. There are 200 watts. We got a 600 watt bar light right there in the middle is down at the bottom of the screen. We're nine feet away, 2,000 lumens now on this screen. And as you can see, that the surface, the chemical that fused to the surface, which is plexiglass, no reflection, no light bouncing back. Zero percent hot spotting. Like I said, if you're gonna do the demonstration, do it the exact same way we do it, or don't say you basically have done the same thing we've done. All right, so just want to update you guys, if I didn't say it already, uh, Kenneth Burr from Crystal Waves Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And this right here is part of our new Fusion Silver product line. This is going to be our Fusion Silver Invisible 4K Tech. Okay, we're doing this right on a snow scene, as you can see. Now, the reason why I chose the snow scene, because what better way to show off the screen's 0% hot spotting and projection glare capability? If you look at this right here, if you see the screen right here, 
if you're projecting your screen at 2,000 lumen, a 2,000 lumen projector directly at a white scenery with bar lights and overhead lights around the screen, and the screen does not wash out, it doesn't fade, there's no glare, there's no hot spotting, it looks fantastic at only 3% done. Now one of the things I try to warn people about, when you start watching us do test demonstrations and you jump right from the door and you go, hey, I know how they did it, blah, 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 and you start posting up videos and you don't realize that we're not even, we haven't even started testing on this screen yet, and you can't perform any of the tests that we do, you pretty much shot yourself in the foot. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. Look at that. Two spotlights on the screen, a bar light, and look at the screen.